Bow, what's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Shine, and I'm back with now a regular guest. Y'all have seen her multiple times on this, so I'm not going to do a long intro, but we got Teak up here, and she wants to speak and drop game on team building. Y'all know we've talked a lot about team building before in the past, but always want to do an update video and bring additional perspective. So we got Teak up to, to use. I mean, to drop some of the gems based on what she's learned over the years, because she's definitely in the trenches. So uh, appreciate you hopping on again. And let, let's talk. Like, what what do you have and see when it comes to artists and uh, building a team? OK, so what I see first, thank you for having me again. Um, and yeah, I want to talk about this because a lot of people reach out to me since my past appearance and just had questions or want to know um, about how to build a team. So I think the dif the most difficulty that I see people dealing with is a lot of times with music, they may not have the budgets um, that's typically, you know, um, a manager is supposed to get a percentage about 10 to 20 percent and then you may have like a lawyer and then your producer may want this and that so of course we say um, the first thing is to actually go out try to perform and try to see who gravitates towards you of course um, see who's a fan and who actually is passionate about your art or what you have going on because of course these people will naturally want to offer there's a lot of people especially in Atlanta that are upcoming photographers, videographers, they may do it for like their college credits, things like that. So there's a lot of people that are looking for new talent or looking for people to build and grow with. And I feel like that's the best kind of relationship, of course. I like that. I like that. Especially college credits. Yeah. That, that free work, uh, but it's easily, uh, you know, it's a, it's a mutual benefit to stuff like that. So I love that. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of times with college credits, they have to, like particular benchmarks to hit and things like that. So it'll have like that professional look and stuff with certain things. Um, and like I said, I know it's a lot of internships or things like that where people are looking for work, but if we're actually talking about the actual positions of a team, I would say to look for, I would say, of course, um, a lot of people have two managers or two different types of managers. So some people may have a personal manager that like helps you day to day that helps you, you know, before you get the rest of your team members, they may even just keep you on schedule with posting content, um, represent you, reach out for you, go, go with you places. Cause a lot of times the artists may make the relationship initially, but then the management may take over from there so that the artist can focus just on the art specifically while the manager handles the business. And then, so that would be like a personal manager more so. Um, and a lot of times people may have both in one or may have them separate, but also a business manager is good. Somebody to handle like the bigger fish, like that may know more about, um, distribution or talking to different labels if you're looking for that different partnerships and stuff um, but again a lot of times they can be both in one especially starting out um, it's good to have an attorney of course or somebody that is familiar with entertainment law that can help you with certain things um, it's good to have an agency so an agency that can be your creative team creative director it can be like your marketing team or a person that helps you with like all your social media platforms um can't forget supporters because supporters are going to tell you what they like and don't like they'll tell you what you want to see and of course supporters that's your that's your human capital so that's who buys into you and supports everything that you have going on that's who you do it for um it's good to have a producer and a dj of course uh people may start with a producer somebody that they actually like working besides and again it's a lot of new and upcoming producers up here that are looking to grow with artists that may want to do like splits or do like the later paperwork on the back end instead of saying hey you pay x y and z amount for beats but either either one is good to just have somebody that you can work hand in hand besides so what do you um, think is better in terms of a producer who is like this is my rider we're on the team and we're creating together or you know yeah i'm paying up front for beats even if it's the same go-to guy where i found this guy online like how do you what do you see is the best producer long uh, relationship long term? I think the best is the one that works with you because they can learn about your style. They can understand like your process of performing. Yeah. You know, if you like the studio set up this way, if you like these type of beats, like this type of cadence, certain things that they can more so be personable to you. 
That makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of producers, they can make the beat around. Like if you write out the lyrics first, they can make the beat around your lyrics. So that'll be just you two kind of getting to know each other. I think that's better. Um, I can see that. I see that because you can go further with your artistry too. Like they can pull things out of you. Whereas you just got a random person sending you stuff online. I mean, it just is what it is. You got the beat and all you can work with is that. Yep. And then it's good to have like a group of people that some can be friends. Um, some can be people that may be strangers, but it's good to always test your music out to a different group of people before it's officially released. Um, that way you usually call them focus groups. Now you can go to certain places and you can hire a focus group um, to come and listen. You can also hire my team. I'm sure you you and your team offer that as well as far as like um, where you'll review music and things like that. So, no, no. oh, you don't? Oh, oh, okay. Go to T, go to T. <laughs> I said go to T. <laughs> So yeah, so when you want honest feedback on like production, um, if you want like how to release it, things like that. So focus groups, a lot of people do offer those. And I think that is good. It's good definitely to get it organically amongst friends or amongst people around you um, that will be honest with what they like and don't like. Um, I do want to go back into the agency part though. Now the agency part is just really your creative team that helps you bring it to life. Now there are agencies that can be for hire that helps you with the strategy and the direction of everything, but getting a photographer, getting a videographer, because we're in a time now where content is king. So content is how people directly relate to your story, doing you know, even if you can't afford all that right now, of course, as you talk all the time about doing TikToks and doing things that are relevant to your brand and putting your song behind different music and things like that. So behind different, you know, TikToks. So that's pretty much all I have for building a team. So always it's best to be organic as far as working with people that nat naturally gravitate towards you or actually like your music, of course, because they can help you right. execute, your, execute your vision way better. I like that because yeah, artistry is like it's different than I don't know. I work at Coca Cola or something like that. Like if, if they're not buying into the product, it just doesn't work the same. Right. It doesn't work the same. So yeah, not with you on that. Okay, I mean, hey, with those are these quick tips when it comes to building the team, and like I could definitely second all of those. Um, and if y'all want more information from T, more tips from T. Uh, you can hit up teacup at where you can find me on Instagram, T E double A C U double P underscore, or you can text me at seven seven zero seven six five five four two two. All right, blow her up. <laughs>